You guys received yesterday um, a document which I had gone through and looked at all of the uh, motions that were made by the committee in regards to the budget lines. Um, at the last meeting, I had provided you with a summary of the adjustments which have been added to because at your meeting you made some additional adjustments to the budget. I had given you a summary sheet show with the DRA format as that was the way that the committee was making some of the motions. However, when I went back and looked, not all of the motions were made in the exact format of the DRA. So if it's your desire to clean that up, we can do that. And I um, also found one line item in the minutes, just looking at your minutes online where the amount that was written in the minutes was incorrect or what didn't match the budget amount by like $500. So that was another adjustment that I came up with. So basically on here, I just went through and I explained in detail to you all of the adjustments. Some of them are adjustments that the committee has made along the way when you were doing your budget review. Others are proposed adjustments that the uh, management has come up with when reviewing the budget. Uh, the gasoline and diesel lines, we had to come and we, we, I wait, ended up waiting until the end of the year. I know I had said something about a Christmas present, but I decided to wait that additional week so that we could have the exact 2017 gallons and have a basis to present with you. So all of those adjustments are on here too. So they're not adjustments that you've made. I want to make sure that that's clear, that, but they're proposed adjustments from what you guys have talked about, wanting to hone in on those gasoline and diesel gallons mm -hmm. to use and the price per gallon. So if we go down through here, um, you'll see that the first adjustment was for the $620. That was to the town clerk's salary, and that was made by the committee at their meeting on 1214. The next adjustment that was made um, was made by the committee again, and that was on 1219, and that was to the tax collector salary for $577. And then under personnel administration, whenever a wage line is changed, there are um, items in that section w which would change too. So that was, there was changes to the Social Security, the Medicare, and the Group 1 retirement, and those totaled $227. That went up, correct? Correct, yep. Yeah. Those were all increases, sorry. The first three that we just talked about were all increases. Under cemetery, I am just pointing out there that the gasoline and diesel lines across the entire budget changed, and that would be a reduction across, not just under the cemetery, but across the whole budget of $5,082. So by uh, waiting until December, seeing how many gallons were used, coming up with our the analysis that I provided to you guys showing you how I calculated the gallons for 2018 and how we came up with the pricing. Um, we are finding a reduction in gasoline and diesel lines totaling $5,082. Let's see, uh, when I was at the meeting, um, I didn't put the date there, sorry, but I had been at a meeting when we were talking about insurances and the liability and general insurance and the workers' compensation insurance, the committee uh, adjusted those amounts because I had actual numbers, so we had a reduction there of $89,665. And um, you guys already voted on that one. Good. And then at the meeting on 1119, the committee had voted to add 30000 to the police department budget for a policy review and update. In the information in front of you, we're proposing that you guys remove that 30000 because we were able to do it with 2017 money. Once again, that's one another one where you guys haven't chosen to do, but if you would like to do so, we have included that with 2017. Also, under the police department and the radio maintenance, he the police chief had put in $18,000 for six portable radios. We were able to purchase those in 2017, so we would um, propose that you guys remove that $18,000. Okay, so that line four, is it four and six so far are the ones that are going to need motions. The others we've already made, we've already made motions and passed. Right. Okay. I think in the end, once we finish going through all of this, I literally have all of... Um, I have all of the numbers in regards to all of, if we, uh, Tim had 
been making motions along the DRA format that we have mm -hmm. here. So what I've done is I, uh, after I go through this whole summary, I literally have another sheet that shows all of the lines that you guys have voted on, what you have voted on, and what the changes are if you agree that these are all the changes that you want to be made. I have all the motions listed out that Excellent. you would need to make if okay. you would like to make these okay. changes. Thank you very much. Okay, so continuing on. Mr. Chairman? Number, yes, go ahead. Um, I think, have you concluded, Christy? No. Uh, no, I'm almost done, though. Okay, sorry. The fire department um, was the next one. They had $20,000 in their 18 proposed budget for the starboard starboard motor on Honda Motor for Marine One, mm -hmm. and they also had $33,405 for rest uh, remediation to ladder one. That is all purchases that were able to be made in 2017, so that can be reduced if you choose. Um, the budget committee at their meeting on November 21st removed 60000 for a new compactor, and we were able to, I've just given you an update that uh, you have already done that, and we were able to purchase that in 17. The next adjustment was made by the budget committee on November 21st to redu reduce the waste hauling by $51,663. That was recommended by the DPW director. And the last two adjustments are related to debt service, which was discussed at the committee's meeting on 12-14. At that time, the proposed debt service was $2,434,999. At this time, I have found further reductions in that because we um, know better the bond sale is going to take place in January, and we, have, uh, we know we will not have a payment in 2018 for principal, but we will have an interest payment only. So you can reduce that line further to two million four hundred ten thousand seven hundred eighty-six dollars. Um, so that kind of gives you a little breakdown of all of those adjustments. <coughs> gives you explanations to all the adjustments that are on the <coughs> sheet here that I had provided to you guys. Um, I think I gave you a copy of this last time, but I've updated it with some additional changes that were made right. and some proposed changes. Okay, hold on, Tim. I just want to point out, Christy, under item eight, um, but I think that um, the, w the word remove, um, remove the 60,000 for a new compactor, um, but then in the next line, um, you explain it better. Uh, we actually reduced the line. Um, we didn't, so, so to speak, say we don't want this compactor. What we sort of, it was reduced the line because we were gonna try to get it out of 2017. Just for clarification, okay. So, please, um, you wanted to continue on with the the second document. Go ahead, please. Um, I guess if you guys have any questions, then I have given you all of the gasoline and diesel information in regards okay, to so it, it how we came up with those numbers. Okay, so go ahead, Tim. You have a question. Thank you, right. Christine. Do you have a uh, a number for the surplus for 2017? Not yet. Close though. Very, yeah. very close. Right, we won't have a number until the audit anyway, but I'll have an unaudited number within like the next week probably. Do you have, do you have a gut feel right now? Um, in the expenditure side of it, I haven't looked at revenue to be honest with you because I focus more on the expenditure piece at the end of the year. Right. I'm gonna, my best guess is between three and 500,000. Okay, and then the revenues if coming in higher, that will make that number larger as well. Correct, yeah. Okay. And revenues are usually a lot tighter only because we are able to change those right up until November, November when we set yeah. the tax mm -hmm. rate. And the variables there, the big variable at that point is the rooms and meals, and the state always knows that by that point, so. The um, pet service uh, reduction, uh, yes. among others that might have been had implications in the default budget. Those changes have been made by the Board of Selectmen? Yeah, the Board of Selectmen voted last night on a new default okay. number, so the default, um, all of the adjustments that I'm proposing for the committee to make to like gasoline and stuff, we adjusted all those last night. Okay. We made the changes for the insurances, um, the changes for the debt service at the Board of Selectmen's meeting okay. last night. So now the default budget is at like 5,300 and something dollars over the 17 budget. So you, you, you consider all the adjustments to be done with the default budget? For the budget. default budget, yes. Okay. Uh, and you mentioned in your presentation that you have uh, individual motions for us to make to make the adjustments that you're recommending? Yes, I have. What I did is um, if, if it's the committee's uh, desire to do it in the format of the DRA, mm -hmm. we have it done, is. I have all of those 
I have them all listed here along, and then all the ones that have already been made correctly, if these are the only changes that want to be proposed for the budget. Okay, so at this point, that's... There's eight. several of them, just yeah. for the record. All right, so please proceed. Per Do you want? I'm, I'm done with my presentation. I guess the next point would be is if the committee is satisfied with all of these changes that we made, then I can provide I would, you with the different motions that I, need to be made. I would, to each of the I would move that each of the line items that Christy made adjustments to relative to the DRA format uh, be approved. Okay. Not, not including the bottom line, which is not a line item. Okay. So, Barbara, moved by Tim and seconded by Steve, Steve Henderson. And the motion again specifically, Tim? Is to approve all the adjustments that Christy has presented in, in uh, both email and paperwork tonight. Okay, the 10 adjustments. Barbara, did you get a copy of that I as well? You do have it, okay. So you know what 10 adjustments we're talking about. A motion made and seconded. All those approved? Please raise your hand. It's unanimous. Thank you very much.